I will show you how to create a brochure in InDesign. First, we will need to open InDesign. We're going to want to make sure that our units and increments are set to inches. So we're going to click on InDesign, Preferences, Units and Increments, and make sure that they are set to inches. Click OK. Now we can start making our brochure. So we're going to go to File, New, Document. We're going to want to make sure that we have two pages. Our width and height is set at 8.5 by 11. Our orientation is set to landscape. We have three columns. And we have a half inch margin. And then you can click OK. You can see that we have two pages for our brochure if you scroll down. But I will be only working on the first page. Nothing that is outside the margins will print and you can always make new margins by clicking up at the top or on the left and dragging down a new margin. And there are rulers as well on the top and left. The selection tool allows you to select entire objects on your workspace and the direct selection tool under it allows you to select points within the objects. There are layers also in InDesign and you can access them by going to Window, Layers. And they're located on the right side. To insert text, we're going to click the Type tool and you click and drag and make a text box and I'm going to make mine a sample text. If you highlight the text you can change um, how big your text is and the font up at the top. And you can use your selection tool to move it anywhere on your workspace that you want. And you're going to want to remember when making a brochure, you only want to use one or two fonts in your document. Now I'm going to show you how to insert an image onto your brochure. You're going to click File, Place, in my images, or on the desktop and you're going to click your image and select open. You're going to click and drag a box for your image to appear and if you want to change the size of your picture you can make sure that you are selected on the direct or on the selection tool. By grabbing the corners and holding shift you can make sure that you don't distort your pictures. I have inserted a couple more pictures and now we are going to make our text wrap around our pictures. So we are going to click the type tool and we're going to click and drag a text box. And for now we are just going to right click, fill with placeholder text. To make your text wrap around your picture, you're going, to be want, you're going to want to be on the selection tool and you're going to click your type, you're going to right click, arrange, send to back. Now that makes your picture on top of your text. So you're going to click, or, so now you're going to go to window, text wrap. You're going to select the object that you want your text to wrap around and then you're going to select from the options in the text wrap 
facts. And with the selection tool, you can alter how much your text wraps around your image by changing the size of your image. And we're going to do the same thing for another picture, so we're going to click the type tool. We're going to make a text box around our picture. We're going to right click, fill with placeholder text for now. We're going to click our selection tool, select the type, and then right click, arrange, send to back. So our image is now on top of our text. We're going to select the image that we want our text to wrap around. And then we're going to select which option we want. And for now, this is just sample text that we put in there. We can also type around an image. So with our selection tool, we're going to select the image that we want type to go around. And I'm just going to relocate it. And then behind the type tool, if you click and hold, you're going to select type on a path tool. You're going to click up in the left hand corner of the image. You're going to right click, fill with placeholder text. And you can get text to go around your image. We can also insert shapes and other things. So you're going to click the rectangle tool. If you click and hold, you have other options besides the rectangle tool. And if you click and drag a box, you can get a shape and we're going to fill it. So go over to fill in your um, options, double click, and we're just going to click a light blue. Take your selection tool, right click on your shape, arrange, send to back. So now it kind of gives you a picture of border. And you can do that for any other image that you have. You can also just change the border of an image instead of adding color. You can click your image. And up at the top, you can change um, the size of your border. And you have other options as well instead of a solid border. And I'm going to make the border a little bit bigger. You can also change the color as well. We can give our background a color as well by selecting the rectangle tool and clicking and dragging the entire workspace. We're going to go to fill and we can give it a blue color. You're going to click your selection tool, right click, arrange, send to back. However, when deciding your background colors and any other colors you use on your brochure, a, help, a helpful hint would be to visit a website that can show you um, different color schemes to work with a specific color on your brochure and I will just paste in the website that I recommend and that is a basic brochure at any time if you want to access pages on your workspace you can click on window pages and on the right side you'll see a list of your pages so you can double click to access them 
And if we wanted the second page, you would just double click and there's our second page. But for this example, I only used the first page to show you how to create this basic brochure. So now we are going to export our brochure by going to File, Export, and we're just going to name it Sample, save it on our desktop, and make sure that is it is an, a PDF. Click Save. And OK. And that is how you make a brochure in InDesign.